so hello guys welcome back so in this uh, video session i am going to show how we can deploy our uh, build through the deployment pipeline okay so first uh, we want to deploy through the deployment pipeline so this was our continuous integration pipeline and by this pipeline we have generated the one artifact and the artifact name is the demo artifact and we have also generated the one more artifact and this artifact name was the yaml so one artifact is by the classic editor and this artifact by the yaml pipeline so first we will take this artifact okay so for that i am going to switch to the pipeline sections i open in the new tab and under the pipelines you can go to the releases okay under the releases you can see the new is there so when you click on the new it will ask new release pipeline and import a release pipeline so i'm going to create a new release pipeline and then it will ask you to select the template so you select the empty job now this part is very important so it is saying this stage one is the add an artifact so i'm going to add an artifact Okay, and the artifact is the build. So this is the test Azure project and source is the build pipeline. So what was your build pipeline name? So this is the build pipeline name, build student project 01. So we need to select the same pipeline. So the pipeline should be there. If you scroll down and, and you can see the build stage student 01 okay so this is the pipeline name build student project 01 i'm going to select the same pipeline because we have generated the artifact by this pipeline only okay this is the uh, source pipeline name this is the build pipeline name and the default version so it will take the latest okay so the default version is the latest one when you select the latest one it is saying the artifact published whether each version will be available for the deployment in the release pipeline and it is showing the demo artifact the latest success for build for this build pipeline published this the demo artifact so this is the artifact name it's going to pick and this is our same artifact name which we have published so now it is going to add the task so let me select this one so build pipeline and the artifact will be the latest one now here i am going to select this stage so this is the stage one or you can see this is the staging environment environment this is the stage environment and agent job so agent job you can see the deploy job okay and this is going to deploy on what server so hosted windows this server this is the vm machine which is handled by the microsoft this is the microsoft hosted agent so if you want to deploy on that one or if you have your own vm machine that where you want to deploy your project so that we will see in the next section okay so as of now I'm going to deploy on the Win Azure pipelines and I'm going to select the agent specific. This is the Windows latest. Parallelism will be the none. Okay. The rest will be the same. Okay. Here you can see the artifact download. So whatever artifact we have published through the build pipeline, it is going to download the same artifact to deploy on the server okay and this is the run job and you can see even the fill or you can also select it's succeed okay you can select all the artifact and it is saying the build artifact there is there okay and it is going to select this artifact to deploy so this will be the path it is going to take when you say <coughs> the build artifact so this is artifact download and this is the artifact name and the folder which is going to deploy okay so rest will be the same okay now save this pipeline 
okay now the uh, release pipeline is uh, saved we have created our deployment pipeline this called the deployment pipeline using the classic editor okay now i want to deploy so for that i'm going to create a release so here you can see the create a release and it's going to release into the staging environment and the version will be the 1152 and this is the artifact information so you can see the artifact which is generated by this pipeline so this is the pipeline name build student project 01 and this is the build pipeline we have created okay now just create now you can see the release one has created now click on this hyperlink and you will see the deployment is going on now you can see the deployment is going on so when you click on this one you can see the agent machine is ready for the job automatic trigger <coughs> okay and automation trigger so deploying job in the progress it will download the artifact demo artifact it's going to download and then it's going to release so now you can see the deployment is successful okay so associate changes are quite commit and you can see in the master branch and if you want to check the deployment logs you can select the logs okay so these are the logs for the, this deployment job like that uh, the deployment job is successful and we have deployed through the classic editor but i want to deploy through the yaml pipeline so how i can do that i am going to this yaml pipeline this is the my yaml pipeline so till that i have published the artifact now i want to deploy the artifact so for that in our previous pipeline the same pipeline you add the one more stage and stage name will be our download artifact okay and under that i am going to create jobs okay so i select the jobs now we know that uh, for the deployment we have a specific job and the job name is the deployment okay and i'm going to deploy in the staging environment now i'm going to select the environment name and this will be your staging environment now i'm going to select the strategy so there are we know the three type of the strategies so first is the canary rolling and the run one so i'm going to select the run ones and in that i'm going to say the uh, deploy and, and under the deploy we need to select the steps and for that i am going to select one task and the task name will be the download pipeline okay these are the download pipeline so i'm going to select the task one this is version one and if you want to add the property so go to settings and deployed download artifact this is the current build and the artifact name you need to select okay and i'm going to select specific build so let's select the test azure project and the build pipeline you need to select so what was the build pipeline so this is the build pipeline name student login demo devops so uh, we need to select the build pipeline so this is our build pipeline because uh, in using the yaml there is no other uh, deployment pipeline so we need to provide the holy scripting in the one pipeline so this we call as the build plus the deployment pipeline so both will be in the same this is different from the classic editor so now here you need to select the same pipeline so this is our student login demo devops this is the uh, pipeline name so this is the student login demo devops this pipeline i am going to select 
when appropriately download the artifact from the triggering build okay and the build version build version to download this will be the latest and this artifact i am going to select and what was the artifact name so whatever artifact is created by this yaml pipeline so it was the latest one artifact so i am going to select this artifact and now this is the destination directory and i'm going to add this one now slightly move to the on the right side okay under the task you can see that all the tasks are added under this one then this is the artifact name this is the target path because we have the target path is the pipeline dot workspace on that workspace i have my artifact okay and the artifact name is the artifact yaml why yaml and the same artifact i am going to download okay so uh, this is your demo artifact yaml this is the artifact the same artifact we are going to download here and this will be your pipeline dot workspace and this is download the so this part we called as the deployment so the staging and you can see the job the name so deployment job is the deploy this is the deploy job environment will be the staging and these are the properties for this one okay now save and run now you can see the four stages are there in the first stage i am going to check out the code then i am going to build the code and then publish the artifact and then download the artifact for the deployment and this will be happening on the same vm machine that is the windows latest machine all right so all the jobs got executed and these are the stages uh, what is executed here so let's understand so first stage it check out the code okay and in the second stage it's going to build the code using the maven and then it's publish the artifact which is generated by the maven that is the deployment work file and then it's going to deploy so we have the task download artifact and using that artifact the download will happen and it's download the artifact download pipeline artifact task is working on uh, on which machines so azure pipelines now what is the problem here the problem is that when we use the microsoft hosted pipelines microsoft hosted vm image we don't have the access for this one and because of that i'm not able to access the application and this location i can see only on the terminal but how to access this location that i don't have the access for that because this is the microsoft pre created vm machines that i am going to use okay and this uh, the build is successful and you can see this location c windows system 32 cmd is executed and these are the location so where is going to deploy in installing the war file d colon slash a slash one as target student login form dot war file so this war file it's going to install but how to access this location that is the problem with the microsoft hosted agent now how to overcome this problem i will show you in the next video section so where i am going to prepare a tomcat server with our aws ec2 instance and then i am going to follow the same procedure to deploy our war file and finally i will able to access my application through the browser